Okay, this final video is going to show you how to create a homing missile, which is basically a combination of the turret tracking code and one little extra bit to make a bullet actually move in the direction it's turned. Okay, so we're at the minute the turrets don't move and they're rotating to try and track a, a bullet. If we've got a moving item, we can keep saying move in the direction that you're rotating so as it's turning round it'll keep moving Let, let's have a look at our current code so this is the code from um, number two um, so I'm going to create a different type of turret so I'm going to go to my turret code and I'm going to create a turret a, a, turret, a turret so I'm going to copy all this okay, and duplicate it and instead of calling this one turret this is going to be a missile station Okay, and instead of firing a bullet, which is what it does now, it just this shoot for a bullet, it's going to create um, a homing missile instead. Okay, so it's going to purely generate a homing missile. Okay, directly. So down here we had the shoot thing. So we're going to replace that for homing missile. We're going to create that in a second. Yes, it doesn't exist. So this is going to be identical to a bullet, this code, for the homing missile. So I'm going to go down and copy my bullet, apart from a couple of additions. That's all we need to do. So we're going to copy that. And underneath our, oh well, just above our missile station, we're going to create our homing missile. Subroutine. So here's the bullet I copied. I'll write it with a new name. Okay, so it's got all the collision logic set up. So I don't need to do anything with that at all. Um, all I've got to do is I want this bullet, because it's basically a super bullet, to track exactly like the turrets do. So I'm just going to set it up to use the same on update code as uh, was it find target because I want it to find the target in exactly the same way so it's going to look, look for a target that hasn't been selected and it's going to go for it okay <clears throat> I need to make sure therefore that it's got an associations set so let's put a dummy one in the number naught that's what that does because it's going to track and keep track of that particular target just like the turrets do so it needs that code in there then the only other thing we've got to do so we're going to locate a target but what we need to do is an extra little bit the turrets don't move we want this missile to move okay so what we're going to do is we're going to call another update handler and we do that by saying plus equals so there's me one to say find target do that first then I want you to run another one which is going to move me in the direction I'm facing so okay that's what I'm going to call it so move in direction facing so I'm just going to create that here so avoid move in direction facing remember it's all case sensitive so this I'm only going to use for missiles so I'm going to have sprite missile and I only need one line of code from the sprite helper. Helper. And I need to say velocity in current direction because it's already been rotated to aim at a particular sprite. Okay. What we'll do is we'll disable this code and you'll see it in action. Let's make them go 150 pixels per second. Let's just comment that code out and then you'll see the effect of this. Right, so I need to create a what did I call it? A missile station. So I'm going to scroll right up to my top where I create my turrets. So I'm actually going to comment out on my turrets because I want you to be able to see the effect of the missile station. So missile station. Let's put it in the centre of the screen. 400, 300. Uh, shooting delay because it's firing missiles. Let's do it every two seconds. 
Uh, and shot speed I'm not using, so I'm not bothered about that. Cause I fixed it. Okay. So it's going to shoot every two seconds. But I'm always going to, the missiles are all going to go at 150 pixels per second. Right. So not a lot of code. So I've created a new turret sprite. So it's going to do everything the turret sprite did, but it's going to fight just by a different type of missile. It's just going to run this homing missile code. Now, the only other thing I've got, the bullets were tiny. I want these homing missiles to look like missiles, well, as much as a rectangle can. So I'm going to make it thin with, oops, it should be SX, and make it tall. So it's narrow, tall rectangle, so it looked like a missile. Okay, so I've just got that. So this is identical code to the bullet. I've changed the shape of it. I'm going to kill it after 20 seconds this time so the missiles hang around for a bit longer and you'll be able to again see them. They're going to use... This is the only extra stuff I put in there. They're going to look for a target just like the turrets did. Now this is another great thing about subroutines. You can use them more than once. But then it's going to eventually, when I uncomment this code out, move in that direction. So watch what they do to start with. They should rotate, but they're going to go in a fixed line. In fact, they don't don't move anywhere. So they're rotating, but they're not moving. So if we just uncomment this code out, you should see them move at 150 pixels per second. But they'll be constantly turning because they're rotating to face and they're moving in the direction they're facing. So it's targeting that one that's flashing. Oh, it's a different one. And you can see there's there's an issue here. We've got sprites that are, it's hitting other ones because there's so much traffic. Okay, but the sprites are still flashing. So what we're going to need to do on the missile, if it dies, we need to make sure that whatever it was tracking, if it didn't hit that one, is available again. Okay, so we're going to create a funeral. So I'm back in my homing missile sprite, and I'm going to create a funeral. So I'm going to say on funeral equals uh, missile died. Okay. So I'm going to create my funeral just down here. Void missile died. Sprite missile. Right. So what I'm going to try and do, I'm just going to see if there's anything that it's tracking. So I'm going to say. Sprite tracking equals missile dot associations not, but it might not have been <coughs> tracking anything. Oh, I've got to cast that, so let's cast it to a sprite. So we can say if we were tracking something, so if that's not equal to null, what we need to do is say for the one that's been tracked, your association not is null. So you go back into the pot. Okay? And that's run when the missile dies. So when we do kill on a missile. So when that missile's been killed, it will hopefully stop tracking. So the first few missiles, bang. Oh, they're still flashing, so we need to stop them flashing, which is a bit silly of me. So, tracking. I'm going to put some colour on this in a sec as well. Tracking dot uh, timer dot, and we want to stop it. Uh, so, I'll just say off. Uh, and we want it to be displayed, so we'll say visible true. So, even if it was flashing, it was in the off phase. We need to make sure it's shown. So let's try that again. <clears throat> we'll reduce the number of objects as well so it looks a bit nicer. We've not seen the missiles for very long. There you go, it stops flashing. There was one being tracked and it stopped flashing because the missile hit a different one. 
Right, let's put a little bit of colour in this and reduce the number of targets. So let's reduce the number of targets. So scroll up, let's just make 10. Uh, and I'm going to make the enemies random colours. And a nice way of doing this is just to say uh, s.wash. So I'm in the enemy sprite here. Equals colour helper and arcade r dot next six. That picks a random value from the arcade list. Oh, let's make it five, uh, which is um, some standard colours. Okay, can move the mouse over. It says right, red, green, blue, yellow, cyan, magenta, and white. So we've got naught to five. So we've got red, green, blue, yellow, cyan, and magenta. Okay, so we should get a nice little bit of colour from this now. There you go, nice little bit of colour. So we might see some missiles. What I'm going to do is I'm going to disable the clean section and you'll see it better as well. Right, so for the missile, let's just disable collision. So I'm in the homing missile sprite. I'm going to say collision active, comment that code out and run it and then I'm going to do something else as well I'm going to put a little bit of history on the missile so you can see where the beam and that look pretty good so they're going to be constantly tracking those sprites so eventually there will be no more and the missiles will just shoot off in a straight line because there won't be anything to target So the missiles are merrily doing that, and every time it shoots them off now, they're going in a straight line. Unless one of the missiles has been killed after like the 20 second limit. Alright, let's do one last thing for the missile. Let's turn on history. So at the bottom of the missile, I'm just going to turn history on. So history depth equals, let's record 50 positions for each missile. Let's say history clamp alpha equals 0.1f and let's sample quite fast. So when we do the history show, we'll say 60 frames a second. Okay, so that will turn on history trails for the missiles and fade it out a little bit. So you should see the effect straight away of that. And then that's it. There's, there's a million ways of doing artificial intelligence. So you get a nice little vapor trail, quite cute. Let's make it a little bit longer. Let's make it 100. Remember, I've turned clean detection off so they're not destroying them now. But they will die after 20 seconds because I set the kill after to 20 seconds for the missiles. So, nice little effect gives you quite a cool graphic effect um, as well, quite abstract. If you used to make all the um, enemies invisible so you couldn't actually see them, you just have these little snaky objects just randomly, well looking like they're randomly spewing around the screen. And I think that's quite good, it's quite awesome. All that's happening, just codes doing that, it's quite clever isn't it? Okay. That's it, like I say, there's loads of different ways to do like tracking systems. This is simple, this it's not doing anything clever. Um you can have like really, really clever ones and only like target things that are a certain distance away and you can do that. That's not hard. Um So you could easily do like like in games where if you're a certain distance somebody can't see you or etc. And you could go really complicated and say have I got line of sight to this sprite? Is there a sprite in the way? So that starts getting into geometry. Um, again, not that hard to do, to be honest. You could use the collision engine to do some of that work if you made a mess, messed about with it. That would be quite cool. Okay, so tracking and homing finished all my systems.